Hi, welcome to the Double Click. This is the uh, segment where we help manufacturers know the so what about all this great news that we're producing on e-commerce and Amazon. Okay, so today we're talking about uh, toys on Amazon 2017 review. Okay, Nathan, U.S. sales. So 4.5 billion on Amazon in 2017 with 12% year-over-year growth. Not bad, but particularly in comparison to what's going on with the brick and mortar, it's kind of a, an aha moment for, for manufacturers, right? Yeah, it really ends up being, uh, where are you gonna go for growth? You're gonna go to Amazon for growth. So Europe, it's even a bigger story, right? Europe's even a bigger story. 42% year-over-year growth. The big winner of all, France. 78% year-over-year growth. They're killing it. That's, it's incredible, it's really incredible. Okay, so now that we have the what, let's dive into the so what. Uh, okay, so we're gonna first talk about and not or, okay? And not or. What are we seeing? Uh, what are we seeing that would say we got to be and not or? Well, this comes back from last week. We talked about the housewares, and one of the big winners last week was Instant Pot. Instant Pot built a consistent portfolio of products where the, their ASINs that won two years ago are continue to win today. Is this still happening? It, it's absolutely happening, right? So they're doing really well, and we got another example, right? We got Cosmo. Cosmo is winning. This has been the number one selling product two years in a row. Two years. But what are they not doing, right? Well, innovation is still critical to any manufacturer's success. And in fact, Amazon provides an opportunity that innovative companies have an infinite shelf to build off of, right? So there's not this trade-off anymore. I can innovate years ago and keep my ASINs on there and love them and nurture them and continue to milk them for huge profits, but I gotta continue to innovate as well in order to maintain that healthy, uh, that healthy pipeline. Right, so Cosmo not introducing the newness that they need to. Out goes Cosmo. In comes, who's doing it right, <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got you right in the yeah. ear. <laughs> okay, so ends up Nerf ends up doing it right, right? Uh, they have had strong arm. It's been the staple of their Nerf uh, of their Nerf family for a long, long period of time. Right. And they're not discontinuing the strong arm. In fact, it's performing extremely well. But in comes what? So now in the past couple of years, they've been introducing laser tag options, right? right? So now they continue to innovate, they continue to look at what customers are wanting, still building that, that, that healthy profit line across search and across promotions for their consistent winners, but always innovating new ideas like laser tag. They're loving their ASINs forever, but then they're adding to the infinite shelf is what they're doing here. Okay, let's move on. The double click, number two. Number two, market matters. The market matters. And if you read this article, you're gonna find out really quick Guess what? U.S. is not the same thing as the rest of the world. Well, we said at the very start, right? So U.S. is growing at 12% year over year on Amazon. Uh, France alone is growing at 78%. Right. So you have to have a targeted approach to each one of these individual countries. And if you look here, Spence, the two things that matter is understanding what ASINs work by country and what promotions work by country. Exactly. So what we're finding here is that you take a look at Lego. Great example. Okay, Lego, they had their Mindstorm, great performer. Then the Barbie Dreamhouse, awesome performer in the US does not translate to the UK, Germany, nor to France. Yet what we're finding is uh, they have introduced different items. The Porsche 911 in the UK, uh, introduced the RC racer, uh, tracked racer in Germany, introduced the Boost Creative Toolbox in France, right? Very specific ASINs by market. You think about it, Lego has been able to introduce the products in each market, showing that it's extremely possible to go to each market. And that goes into how, how do you end up winning the world? Well, take a look at what Lego has done to be successful there. Mm -hmm. They've ended up with very specific types of promotions in different er in different countries. You, you can have customized approaches. Yes. You can understand the types of promotions that win in each market. But I got to emphasize, it's through data that you're going to start to identify what works in each area and what doesn't work. Exactly. Do more of what works, do less of what doesn't. Okay, so we could go into so many more specifics, but if you do, if you're a client, go ahead and uh, reach out to your insights manager. They'll be able to take care of you. Uh, if you're not a client, always happy to talk. Thanks a lot, and uh, thanks for joining us on The Double Click.